Alright, quickly I'd just like to mention that my webcam has been acting up lately, like a lot, and that's the reason, the real reason why I haven't really been making as many videos for this channel as I'd like, but anyways, my pick, let the right one in. Uh, now I'm sure most of you have probably heard at least a little bit, a bit about this movie, if anything at least the name, uh, and there's a reason you have. <laughs> my god, I really like this a lot. Um, Bluntly, it's basically like Twilight done respectably, and now I know just the very idea of that is pro I'm probably putting you off, but eh, believe me, um, yeah, it is kind of a love story, but there is a tremendous amount of innocence put into it, and despite that, the horror elements are still really, really strong. Strong. Now, it is a horror movie. There's a reason why. It's like number one or number two on like all these lists. Uh, lists. Um, and if you check the movie out, you'll see why. Believe me. Um, uh, for anyone out there who's seen Pan's Labyrinth, uh, it has nothing to do with Pan's Labyrinth. But if anything, I would really, I, I really want to compare it to that movie. Just kind of in that whole like, it's dark but it's kind of pure simultaneously. There's actually a critical review from Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro on here, ironically, but, uh, yeah, I really liked it, and the one thing about the movie that did kind of irk me is that Alex, on his Ricky Shore channel, did a vlog on the movie, and he had mentioned some, something that, I get happens, like, towards the end, that kind of impl implies that a cycle has been taking pl uh, place, and, um, for some reason this didn't register the first when I saw the movie, but like, uh, it's really obvious that that's kind of what it was impl implying, and just given the way the movie played out, it just kind of irked me that, I don't know, that that might, might have been the case, or probably was the case, but, uh, anyway, that's, I apologize, again, I apologize for the inconsistency, incons <laughs> sorry, um, I apologize for the inconsistency, um, and, Thanks for watching, I guess.